All right, MC MCJ taking over Crafter Century. Quite the upset we got here. All right, let's see, going to game one versus ITE versus MCJ. Recon versus Villager. Uh, we're gonna see a lot of zoning here, and I think it's gonna come mainly from Villager. And yeah, it looks like you know, Villager's keeping up that, keeping that side of the stage, you know. Oh, it gets the apple. Very rare. Very rare to see. But maybe that apple will power him up. I got some jabs. Mike is gonna hold, go ahead and uh, take take one side of the stage. He he really doesn't mind being. You know, at a disadvantage, like in a disadvantageous position, like like as far as stage control goes, because he can just back up and, and space you out with back air. Like that that is his version of stage control, actually. All right, Mike has the banana, throws it. But all right, Mike has total stage control right now. We're gonna see an edge guard. Yep, yep. That down air lasting for so long. We're gonna easily clip Diddy out of his barrels. Alright, gets a triple turn up, spike him down. Like we're... Okay. MCJ's gotta find a way in to take his stock. But he doesn't have his banana. He doesn't have his banana, so he has to find a way to approach Villager without the banana. That is going to be tough. Like, very, very good at uh, keep keeping that... Keeping, that uh, keeping those items on lock. Making it to where Diddy can't really do much to, to approach him. But, but he's, he's got to find a way. He's got to find a way in so he can take the stop. Got four minutes on the clock. Uh, not going to not gonna be timing him out anytime soon. But if we get to that point, if MCJ doesn't find a way to approach. MCJ's got the stage position. Let's we'll see if he can tag some sort of edge dub here. Let's see. Ooh, goes for the, for the right for the up smash. Looks like he was trying to read a roll onto the stage, but he was just just a, a hair too late. But it was a good read nonetheless. Just uh, could work on the timing a little bit. Like to refreshing that banana so you can need to oppress MCJ's uh, pressure. Okay, now we're gonna get. Mike has, Mike has a stage position. Alright. Let's see, Mike's probably gonna go for some more zoning here. Just keep, keep MCJ out as much as he can. Ah, uh, Forward is gonna take it. Whips the, whips the dash attack and takes a Forward in. Oh, right. oh, oh, almost gets a crazy. And bowling ball, yep, that, uh, that'll be it. Down smash the bowling ball. A very lethal setup. Risky, but lethal. lethal. Definitely take some stocks with it. Started on Town and City. Let's see where they will go to next. Um, I see a character switch, but I'm not sure. It seems, it seems like MCJ is pretty confident with his Diddy pick. He just. He knows that he's got some, some things to tweak, some adaptations to make in these, these next couple games. I looks like we're going to Battlefield for game two. A decent pick, because uh, Diddy has uh, more mo mobility to throw out aerials, and uh, kind of uh, maybe put a little more pressure on uh, Mike T. I don't know, because... Mike is also a pretty big fan of this stage because he can also throw aer aerials out a lot and that really helps his zone. So we'll just have to see what we can do here. Uh, so it seems pretty even so far. They're just trying to get their footing on this stage. Try platforms are very, very different. Oh, goes to the up here to up. Be interesting. I think it's just getting a, trying to get a little combo extension there. More damage. All right, forward in. He's got stage position. It's the forward throw. All right, yep. He continues. Continues the pressure. ITE telling him to get off me with that forward air though. Gets him off stage. We're gonna see an edge guard. Oh, goes for the down air, but oh, stuck. 
Ooh, almost gets that fully charged down smash. Oh, gets the tree, yeah. That, that is gonna be a stock, because that, that tree, that tree is very powerful. It will, it will, it will eliminate stocks at nearly any percent. You know, past, past like 50. MCJ's gotta find a way to take the stock as soon as he can. Mike's got his tree watered a little bit. Looks like he might be using that pretty soon to set up his own pressure. But MCJ has got his uh, got a little, little bit of a pressure thing of his own. Look, gets the roll behind down tilt up smash. Not going to kill quite yet. Villager is quite heavy. Tries to get the banana throw down. But, oh, oh, we're going to see a, a nice conversion out from Mike. Gets him up to 35%. Up to 58%. Percent keeps growing. Alright, let's see. Mike to E just on a, like, momentum, like, rampage here. Looks like he's not stopping. He just, he'll just keep chasing MCJ. He's on the offensive. Goes for a down smash. Not gonna quite hit. And now MCJ has, uh, stage control. If MCJ can put a stop here. Yep then he has a chance of taking this game. Gotta find a way to get back on stage and attack on some percent here. What? MCJ at a pretty nice percent. Oh, but wait. You see some signs of life out of MCJ. Down to 49%. MCJ has been known to take some comebacks from that uh, Diddy Kong down here. So we shall see what he can do here. Oh, he gets him up to 70 percent That was a smooth conversion off that banana. Is that? Close. Let's see what he can do to keep that stage in the screen. MCJ gonna throw the banana. Keep the stage control. Interestingly enough, Mike T has not been pocketing those bananas. He just hasn't been able to get a hold of it. MCJ had a very, very high percent. He's gonna be very careful. He wanted to link this comeback. But, I see a I see a grab coming out from Mike to me. Not gonna quite come out because Villager's grab is very slow. He gets a grab. That's that's curtains. Oh, that's it. Very close. Very close. Down tilt. Nothing off it. Almost gets comboed into the Lord. It's a monkey flip. This is so close. This is the last hit. Anybody's game. It's in there. Probably trying to go for something else instead. Both players taking it. Playing this very patiently. Oh! Back air barely taking it out. Taking it. Taking that game. That was insane. Alright. Mic up 2 0 now. Survival! Alright, so first game, Town and City, and Battlefield. Now, MCJ is taking it to Dreamland. Gonna see what he can do with Dreamland. Dreamland kind of has the same layout, layout as Battlefield, but it is slightly different. The platforms are are a bit higher, and uh, higher platforms means uh, it's, uh, you know, early, early, earlier kills off that, that top platform there. So. See if uh, MCJ can make some use out of that. You go into this third game. Oh, transition. All right, there, there we go, there we go. Now you guys can actually see. That's pretty cool. All right, so MCJ got got some some uh, nice percent. Mike to E. Just gonna keep keep on applying that pressure. 
Mike getting out of the corner there with that, with that down air lasting forever. Oh, gets out of pressure again. Oh, almost gets the bowling ball. That would have been that would have been curtains. Well, maybe not curtains, but it, it, it would have it would have definitely like changed the momentum for sure. Very careful, because he knows how strong that tree is. Okay, all right. Let's get out of that situation now. But it looks like looks like Mike has the stage position now. He just has to find a way to take out, or not take out the stock, but keep that stage position and then take out the stock. MCJ right now should be probably looking for something to steal out Mike's stock. All, all, all of Diddy Kong's various skill options. Maybe just the, the, the few, but you know. Definitely looking for... Oh, it charges it a little bit. There we go. Down to up smash, gonna steal the stock. MCJ at a very comfortable percent right now. Not too comfortable, because the villagers has some options that can definitely take out his stock. And it is Diddy Kong, so anything can... Anything, anything can kill him at about 50 percent and uh, that, yep, that's it. It's clipped out of his barrels, just like I said. Can't be too comfortable. Uh, yep, pretty much dead even now. Uh, with MCJ trying to... Oh, he's got the control. And it looks like he just needs to... He needs to try to get in there a little more. But it's gonna be tough with uh, villagers zoning him out the whole time. All right, gets in, get, gets uh, gets uh, sent on. 57. 67. He's now about halfway there to being able to. Ooh, dang! That is. That was a very nice combo. All right, just uh, maybe one more conversion. That might be it. I got a very dangerous percent here. He needs to find some momentum right now. Almost gets that charged up smash. Not gonna quite get the grab. Go just grab once again. Not, not too fast. Oh, gets down till up smash. Tried and true. Never fails, except times it does fail. Never they fall out of it. Yes. Yeah, I, I'm getting every, every, I'm getting the hang of it. But every now and then I slip up. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Mike gonna switch to Lucina here. Interesting pick. It seems he's confident in the. Uh, he's probably confident in like the extra range that Lucina gives him. All right, they're gonna go right back to battlefield. Three, two, one, go! All right, let's let's see what it's gonna be. MCJ gonna go for you know the standard up throw up air stuff. We got to a little bit of percent. Looks like Mike's gonna be aiming to he's gonna be trying to get more stage control with the uh, Lucina this joint. MCJ, he's he very good stage control with his, uh, his forward airs and his banana tosses. It's very, very hard to, 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 keep, to keep the Diddy Kong away. Ooh, that was a clean conversion right there. Um, I probably could have aired out, but I mean, what can he do in that situation? Alright, might, might get some percent of his own here. Gonna get the up throw. Read it's air dodge up there. It's a shoot. Oh, that. That's, I'm seeing some nice pressure from Mike. It's the jab to forward smash. Not going to quite take it. Tries to get another forward smash there. It's a, the safe back air on shield. We've seen this back air very safe on shield. Especially when you, whenever you. Oh, he gets the banana, but doesn't, doesn't get any off of it. See what he can do here. Uh, 
Mike now in the position where he has to approach. Uh, and he has to find a way to, to get in and take the stock. Because MCJ has quite the lead built up now. Ooh, very good forward smash. Catches catches his foot right as he tries to get out of there. Not sure if any other move would have would have gotten that right there, but that forward smash, very, very smart. Ooh, it's a nice back air to up tilt to up air. Or up, up air to up tilt, you, you know what I mean. A nice 32% from Diddy Kong, but his percent himself is also rising. You gotta be careful. He's thrown off stage. Jay looking for you know, a down switch or a grab to, to take the to back. But it's forward there. Eh? Alright. Momentum in uh, Lucina's favor. We're gonna see who he can make for that. Oh! I don't know if that downer was intended. For the chase. That's gonna be it. Banana down tilt up smash. That is a game four. We are in a game five situation. It will be, it'll be very difficult for uh well not difficult, but it's gonna be in, it's gonna be interesting to see see how the set wraps up. Mike my, my, my TV, not Mike TE, but Mike TE is going to switch to Fox, one of his uh, one of his other main characters. Uh, one that he's very confident with, almost beat me with it. We're going to go to FD. Three, two, one, go! Like shooting some lasers to get things started. Might have to get 21% to start us off. Definitely looking for the dash attacks. Oh my god. Conversions right now. Oh, almost gets, gets, the, gets the jab lock there, but I think the percent was just a little too high. Mike with the pressure on the ledge. Fox is just such a different style than, than uh, villagers. Probably tough for MCJ to adapt to. Mike was just facing the other way. He probably would have gotten that up smash. MCJ going to be looking for looking to stay, take the stage control back. Mike, no stranger to, to being on that ledge. Taking the advantage whenever he needs to. Ooh, that was, that was almost so clean. With that. Oh, barrels explode at the ledge. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. It's a nice uh, banana down tilt forward smash. One of uh, Diddy Kong's banana uh, you know, bread and butters. Fox gets a nice little conversion there. Backs up the rack, racking up the damage. Working for Fox stage. This box is working out very well. Uh, gets back it though. It has a good 50% lead though. But you never know because Diddy Kong can always pull out that, those ledge traps and rack up percent that way. And just, ooh, that nice frame trap. Nice frame trap right there. Gets the up throw to down air. Catches that air dodge from there to get the follow up afterwards. Box gets a forward smash. I see a simple ledge trap. Mike backing off though. The, Give him, give his opponent some respect. Tries to read the roll into an up smash there. Not gonna quite get it. But, but Mike smells blood in the water and he is looking through that hole. Gets the jab, jab, up smash, and that will take the set. They hug it out. That was such a great set. Great set.